Ja. Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's Monday night, and we are coming to you live from Mulligan's Island, which, as you know, is just around the corner from San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico, over in Guaymas, kind of near Miramar. It's a beautiful day here. I hope you've had a wonderful day, too. I hope you're ready to have a good time. Uh, tell you what, you guys know the routine. Grab yourself a beverage. My studio audience has just done the very same thing. Hello, studio audience. Good to see you guys. And uh, you do the same, guys. My show will sound a lot better. Can you do me a huge favor as you log on? Can you let your friends know about this? Because that helps keep the show going when we suck new victims in. And uh, it's going to be a fun night tonight as we take you between songs up the coast to Rocky Point. We did that last week, but Rocky Point has so much to show you that we couldn't do it all in one show. So we've got a bunch of videos, like 10 of them, we're going to show you tonight. Uh, just restaurants and beaches and different things like that. It's kind of fun. So we're going to travel together between songs, and uh, it's going to be a good time. So as we always do on this show, we like to kick it off with a song written by my buddy, who is watching us right now with his wife, Beth. Let's kick off with a theme song from Mulligan's Island, written and sung by our friend, Rudy B. Let's make our way down to Mexico Where we can meet the friends we know White sand, warm sun, and H2O It's time for us to get back to laid back Try a different beer from our favorite six pack This crazy world says, come on, let's go It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place It's a Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We'd all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island It's the right place and the right time To be south of the border again this is the day we get to listen in We don't sing no blues anymore We kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island We all be smiling here on Mulligan's Island. Hi. 
Hi, everybody. If you are out there right now shivering your butt off somewhere cold, we need to warm you up tonight. You might be asking yourself, where'd my summer go? Now it happens every year around this time. Labor Day comes and goes and I find That my heart starts sinking like the September sun And I tell myself, oh no I swear the month of May was only yesterday Next thing I know, it's where my summer goes Those days down on the shore Toes in the sand on my skin, just kicking back on the coast. Now the kids are back in school again, and reality is sure closing in. The beaches are empty, the days are getting short, and the nights will soon be cold. She went my summer go. Now a lot of folks need a break from the heat. Call me crazy, bring on 101 degrees. I'd rather bake in the sun than put a sweater on. When it's cold, I just can't chill. But October's on the way, need one more lazy day. Somebody tell me where'd my summer go? Can't life move a little more slow? These really long days would last But the sun's going down too fast Somebody stop it before it disappears Leaving me all alone Wondering where'd my summer go Anybody else out there wondering the same thing? They're breaking out sweatshirts and putting on jeans, but I still got my swimming suit on. I'm taking one last dip, then guess I gotta let go. Oh no, where'd my summer go? Come on, say it isn't so. I miss those UV rays on hot July days. Don't tell me that's all she wrote. But according to the weatherman, What do you say, gang? Just one more time. You meet me down on the shore before we say, Wet my summer go. Wet my summer go. Wet my summer go. Wet my summer go. guys welcome to my bar pull up a bar stool i'm gonna pour you a song tonight hey we're also like i said taking you tonight up the coast from here about it's about six and a half hours maybe seven from san carlos to get up to rocky point it's actually closer for you guys in phoenix and tucson to get there it's about four four and a half hours from you guys but so i'm gonna meet we're gonna meet in the middle in rocky point between these songs and uh, just show you a couple of things up there, some beaches and restaurants and different bars and stuff. It's going to be fun. Let's head up there right now to a neat spot out on Sandy Beach. Well, this is Princessa Resort, and this was the first resort on this beach other than Playa Bonita Hotel. And it's a really nice one. In fact, I lived here back in 2010 for about six months, my family and I. And we really, really enjoyed it. How could you not? Well, this was the condo my family and I lived in. And this was our front yard. And just an 
endless stretch of beach. That was a cool spot to live. Uh, I had a, a great deal there. I was doing some a little swap with uh, with a friend of mine up there, and and uh, ended up getting that beautiful condo from uh, Steve Schwab over at Ca- at Casago, which we will always appreciate. What a time that was! Kind of felt like we had the whole nine yards. Kind of leads me into this next song. Even though it's about a boat, we were living the same deal. <laughs> Slam of the gavel set me free. She got all she ever needed. All I asked the judge to give to me was tied up down at the marina. 27 feet white sails and polished fiberglass. I christened her island time and set sail for paradise. She got the house on the lake and her own living made. Swimming pool and a new Corvette A savings account and alimony checks But I got the ocean near St. Bart's The trade winds and the storms When I raise my sails on island time 27 feet of water line I got the whole nine yards I bet she's in her car, bumper to bumper in traffic. I just woke up and went up on deck and fell back to sleep in my hammock. She got all the toys and all the noise crammed into a city crowd. But I'm down here on island time, all stretched out on the bow. She got the house on the lake and her own living made. A swimming pool and a new Corvette A savings account and alimony checks But I got the ocean near St. Bart's The trade winds and the storms When I raise my sails on island time 27 feet of water line I got the whole nine yards the house on the lake and her own living made a swimming pool and a new Corvette a savings account and alimony checks but I got the ocean near St. Parts the trade winds and the stars when I raise my sails on island time 27 feet of water line I got the whole nine yards Got the whole nine yards. Come on, guys, help me out. We got the whole nine yards. We got the whole nine yards. All right. Well, we're gonna take you to a popular spot in Rocky Point. Known as the te- as the Tequila Factory. Come on over with me. Let's have a shot together, everybody. Bartender, otra tequila. Well, I'm in Rocky Point, and when I saw this place, I knew I had to take you guys there. I am at the Tequila Factory. One of the things you guys are going to love about the Tequila Factory is that you can come in here during the day, any day except for Tuesday, and enjoy the free tequila tastings. 23 different tequilas and liqueurs that you can sample. You're just going to love it. How are you guys enjoying the tequila tasting today? Everybody, this is Fernando. How are you guys doing today? We're at the Tequila Factory getting ready to do a nice presentation. Come join us. Awesome. You guys here. Let's do it. Don't breathe in when you're drinking. So you breathe in, you stop, you hold your breath, you shoot, you swallow, and then you blow out. 
Brooks. There you go. Professional, my man. Oh, the tequila sits in the barrel because of the room temperature changes inside the barrel. What the barrel does, it retracts and it expands. The tequila warms, the tequila cools. So it builds that compression inside, okay? Causing the barrel to soak the tequila in between the staves. And then when the barrel begins to expand and held by these bands, it'll squeeze a juice that we call the devil's cut. <laughs> I feel like I've gone to school today. This is my kind of education. Fernando, he's a good teacher. Coffee and maple extracts. Yes, they took the oak and they soaked it, and then they steamed and molded it into a stave and lightly charred the barrel. Imagine that. And as the tequila sits in the barrel for a minimum of 16 months, what we end up with is these beautiful characteristics, the nose and the taste. Uh, Aha! Enjoy! Mm -hmm. Beautiful. My favorite. I am with Adam, and he is a customer here at Tequila Pinasco. Adam, how's the tequila? The tequila is awesome. We come down here all the time. It's our regular stop. I'm uh, drinking a blend right here. This is uh, Anejo and Reposado mix. Okay. Uh, right out of the barrel. So this is better than anything that uh, you can buy in the stores in the States. Fernando always cooks us up. And I always take back a few of these with me because it's better than anything else that we ever get anywhere. So if you're down here in Rocky Point and you want some good tequila, make sure that you make this one of your stops. That's yeah. awesome. Well, I don't really believe you like this stuff. I think we have to see a sample it here. Uh, Come on. Right. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everybody. And very, very smooth. Awesome. Very smooth. <laughs> Who are we talking to here? It's Marcos. Marcos, I like that name. Hey, what's your favorite tequila here? Reposado. Reposado. Tell us a little bit about it. It's uh, the barrel is smothered in vanilla extracts, okay. and it tastes wonderful. That's all I need to know. It's Thank the only. It's the only thing I drink here. Let's see you take a sip. That just looks good. Salud. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Mimosa. You just talked me into it. Yeah. For, Sunday fun day, for, baby. For the sake of our viewers, <laughs> enjoy. Salute everybody. Bring you. I can bring you that too. Marcos, do you come uh, in here to the tequila factory a lot? Uh, six days a week. Six. <laughs> I'd say you're a, you're an expert in this place. And you know why I don't come seven? Why is that? Because we're closed on Tuesday. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Fernando back there, he earns every tip that goes in that job. This guy's got an awesome personality. You'll learn more about tequila than you ever imagined. And you'll really enjoy the samples when you uh, come in here to Tequila Factory and give it a shot. When you visit Rocky Point, this place is a must-visit spot. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, great drinks, of course. Fernando does a great job. You'll be entertained. Throw something in his tip jar. It's going to be a great day for you here. So when you're looking for the Tequila Factory, it's located on the main boulevard coming to the Rocky Point and that main intersection of 13th Street. If you want to make it really easy, just look for my car in the parking lot because I'll probably be in there having a drink with Fernando. Oh, that was a fun place, and you guys have really got to check that out. I mean, seriously, Fernando will treat you right. You get in there, you want a sample of anything, and it's on the house. And uh, make it a part of your next trip. I guarantee you, you'll have a good time. And Fernando, I know you're watching the night, so thank you, man, for the show you put on over there. And thanks for the drinks, too. All right. So we got a request coming in. From Baja, California. My friend Sue is over there. Sue, I hope Ed's back. I'm not sure if he's made it home yet. But uh, this one goes out for you by request. A hot night in this border town. I'm a long, long way from home. Your friend's out dancing with some guy. And she left you there alone. 
Across this dark and crowded room You've been sitting there a while What's that? Did I just catch you smile? A word in Spanish Oh, I wish I only knew a word in Spanish Cause I'd sure like to talk to you a word in Spanish Maybe we could have some fun for the night through Now I'm no Latin lover But maybe I can learn Cause just one little look from you And that passion starts to burn Maybe it's those big brown eyes Man, they're driving me insane Something tells me, girl, you feel the same A word in Spanish Oh, I wish I only knew a word in Spanish Cause I'd sure like to talk to you a word in Spanish Maybe we could have some fun for the night through How did I end up out here? What did I say to get you all alone with me right now? Whisper softly in my ear, let your sweet words flow. Could it be that you and me speak a language of our own? Tell me once again a word in Spanish. I think I finally understand the word in Spanish. Oye, morenita, ángale. A word in Spanish. Tell me once again a word in Spanish. I don't want this night to end a word in Spanish. Oye, morenita, ángale. Oye, morenita, ángale. Thank you, Sue, for the request. Hope life over in Baja, California, across the Gulf from us is going well. Los Barriles, where she hangs out, is a, is a pretty cool town. All right, well, speaking of cool, we're going to head over to a really cool bar where some of my friends are watching tonight. I want to say hi to the LeClairs, Mary Alice Grinder, and other folks who are sitting at the bar at Margarita Mermaids watching, uh, watching this show tonight. Let's head over there right now because I'd like you to meet Chris. I'd like you to see one of the things that makes Mar Margarita Mermaids such a neat place. I am here at Margarita Mermaids with Chris Nichols, one of the owners of this place. Hi, Chris. Hey, how you doing, guys? It is great to be here. I'm having a wonderful time singing. Thanks for bringing me back, as always. Love to have you, Mark. You know that. Now, this place is famous for what? Our margaritas are the best you've ever had. Tell us about them. Well, I'll tell you what. We have 20 different kinds of margaritas. Yes, I said 20. Wow. And until you taste every single one, you honestly cannot say that you've had the best margarita because there's one on there that's my favorite. Um, yes, my name is Chrissy, and the name is a Chrissy Rita. Chrissy Rita. You okay. gotta try it. Uh, tell us about the Chrissy Rita. Well, this is a real margarita. No fillers in this street. We have. The most important thing is this is truly, it's not a Chrissy Rita, it's really an Italian margarita, but we make it right. We use tequila panasco, añejo tequila. Okay. And then we use Amaretto de Serrano. Okay. Naranja, Controy, and fresh lime juice. Okay. And Renee here, our bartender and our beautiful Letty. Hi, Renee. Hi, Letty. Hi. These are great one, bartenders. They are great, and they'll make one for you when you guys come to Margarita Mermaids. Wait till you taste this. It is the best margarita ever. Renee, don't, Renee, don't you go talk to me out of my Captain Morgan and Coke. <laughs> I don't need any more vices in my life, Renee. And then it gives a good shake. This man has blended a few margaritas in his life, I think. Oh, I'd say quite a, quite a few, especially here. All right. Guys, is that looking good? Wait till you taste it. All right, this is the Margarita Mermaids, everybody. This is the Chrissy Rita. I like that name better than Italian Margarita. No offense to my Italian friends. Okay, now here's the secret ingredient. 
Secret ingredient, everybody. Look how beautiful it's going to go in. All oh, this tastes yummy. There we go. Well done, Renee. So I, I, I think I better taste this for you, Mark. Here's the test, everybody. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? I Something tells me she's going to like it. Now that's a margarita. You got it. Chrissy Rita, everybody, at Margarita Mermaids. Thanks, Renee. Great job. Thanks, Letty. <laughs> I can personally vouch for the fact that those margaritas are awesome. And in fact, what I love tonight for all the Mulligan friends at the bar, they get $5 house margaritas uh, tonight during the entire show. I love it. If you're in Rocky Point, you got to go over there to Margarita Mermaids on a Monday night, catch my show, and, uh, and enjoy a great margarita at a great price while you're at it. Those of you just joining us, welcome. Hope you're having a good time. It's great to be on Mulligan's Island with you. Hey, we just saw, saw some margaritas. I think we need to go one that go, do one that goes with that song. Corona Sunset, Margarita Moon. Corona Sunset, Margarita Moon. Spanish guitar serenade the sky with a tune. Waves kissing the shore. And time for just one more Corona sunset and Margarita moon. They say down here crazy things can happen. week we're living through a mixed up reservation a casual hello a couple drinks and next thing we knew it was Corona sunset and margarita moon suddenly Manana's coming way too soon Wish this night could somehow last Instead of fading away so fast Like Corona sunsets And Margarita Moon Footprints in the sand will soon be washed away As echoes of tonight fade with the breeze You'll be back in your world And I'll be off and by Looking back on distant memories Sails out on the sea, silhouettes of you and me, and Corona sunsets. Now your boarding pass is printed, and your bags are packed. Just like that, reality's closing in. But this evening sky has got me thinking crazy thoughts. Perhaps this story doesn't end With this Corona sunset And Margarita Moon Is it me or are you kind of wondering too? Will these memories disappear Or lead us both back here To Corona sunsets Margarita moves Will the salt air on the breeze Again find you and me Under Corona sunsets I know I'll never forget Corona sunsets And Margarita moves
Well, thank you, Sonny Jim, for writing that song with me. And Wendy Newcomer for doing the duet version on White Sand, Warm Sun, and Salty H2O. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to go back to Sandy Beach now. It is such a popular beach in, uh, in Rocky Point. It's where uh, so many families love to go from Phoenix and Tucson. And let's head there. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Wrong beach. We're going to go over to Las Conchas. And that's actually, this one's actually more of uh, a lot of residents there. Kind of a big community. Been there for, I think, 40 years or so. And this is actually where my friends Charlie and Claudia host me just about every time I go to Rocky Point. I get to stay on this beautiful beach here. Let's head to Las Conchas. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Rocky Point, and I'm on the beach in front of Las Conchas. This is a big neighborhood of about 600 homes right on the beach, kind of on the uh, eastern side of Rocky Point. And this beach is beautiful. It stretches about six and a half miles down, ending at an estuary down there that people can take their jeeps down to and enjoy. Uh, it's low tide right now, and that means the tidal pools are exposed, and those are always kind of neat to check out. Looking at that big stretch of beach there just makes me want to sing this song. And I'd like to send this one out for my friend Bonnie, who lives in Rocky Point. And she walks those beaches there. She walks Sandy Beach uh, seven miles when she goes out. She takes it hard every day. Bonnie, here's to you. It's one of your favorite songs. We got our beach back. We got our beach back. There's a thumbs up from a fisherman on a pier. We got our beach back. My God, the coast is finally clear. Looking toward the lighthouse as far as you can see. There's more pelicans than people. Can you believe we got our beach back? No timeshare guys hassling anyone. Got our beach back. Those boys in their brochures are gone. We got our beach back. And that feels so good to say. For a little while I thought we'd never see the day. We got our beach back. We don't have to fight that madness anymore. There's room for this old beach chair on the shore. Finally got space to breathe Cause you and me we Got our beach back This endless Stretch of golden sand Got it all to ourselves Once again Amen We got our beach back It wasn't long ago Everywhere you turn, change was in the air. You think this was Cabo? New condos popping up everywhere. Suddenly it happened. Everything went south. Now those real estate signs are rusty. Without a doubt, we got our beach back. Now I hear we're dodging bullets, me and you. He has that effect. Guess I must have missed the evening news I was ankle deep in water As the sun sank in the sea While Jim cracked me a cold one Smiled and said to me We got our beach back Here's to that far off anchor man and God bless the boys on CNN It's true, they still ain't got a clue but thanks to them, we got our beach back And it sure is good to walk these shores again Where the only folks I see are all good friends Friends, we got our beach back
So be careful what you wish for, cause the day things turn around, we'll be looking back on how it used to be. When this paradise belonged just to you and me. Can you believe we got our beach back? So let's enjoy it while we can, me and you. Cause someday those crowds will come back to It's true. But until they do, we got our beach back. Got our beach bag. I know a whole bunch of you guys who watch this show feel the same because uh, the, the people that watch this show tend to not be the all inclusive packed beach kind of people. They t- kind of be like the off the beaten path, the San Carlos crowd, the little hidden beach kind of thing. So uh, I hope that song resonates with you as it does with Bonnie, as, as it does with me too. Hey, we're going to head down now to the other beach I was just talking about, uh, down on Sandy Beach. When you go between Sandy Beach and Choya Bay, some of you guys have been to Rocky Point. You know where I'm about to take you. Let's go over to Wrecked at the Reef. Between Rocky Point and Choya Bay, on the far west end of Sandy Beach, you come to an awesome bar. It's called Wrecked at the Reefs. Wrecked at the Reef is the definition of a Mexican beach bar. Great spot to grab a drink on the beach. They also offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They got live music, outdoors and indoors on weekends. They got games like cornhole, volleyball. You can really just come here, spend the afternoon, and have a great time. This drink right here is called a Chango Sucio, a dirty monkey. And it's got banana liqueur, Malibu rum, and Kahlua, and it looks good. This is Lindsay, and she is going to sample that dirty monkey for us. Hi, Lindsay. Hello. All right, let's see how it is. It's delicious. All right, (laughs) thumbs up from Lindsay. You guys having a good time in Rocky Point? Yes. All right. It's like an escape from the world here at Wrecked the Reef. But you're really just a short walk from the beautiful condos in Sandy Beach. Shooting all these videos for you guys has definitely worked up my appetite. So, here at the reef, I'm going to grab me some grilled flounder, vegetables, and just take in a beautiful day. That place really, really is fun. You guys in this crowd who go to Rocky Point, you can vouch for that. I know our studio audience has been directed the reef, too. Good times over there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, good. Well, we got a a song that goes with all that sunshine you're seeing in these videos. This one goes out by request to Beth. Beth, the other half of uh, Rudy B. Hi, Beth, and thanks for watching. And Rudy B. and Beth help me every show I do. They put together the theme song. They put your pictures into it. They helped me with the sound check. This show would probably not even still be on if it were not for them. So uh, from your couch, give them a big round of applause. (laughs) This goes out for you, Beth. Hey, Beth, you've got more applause than I have all night. Milk it.
That look upon your face is not a smile And I don't think nice to see you's on your mind Is it safe to say the end is just beginning? I may be dumb, but I ain't blind So divide up all the things we own and we'll go our separate ways What else can I say? I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain You take the pain. There's nothing left between us, and there's no one left to blame. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. I guess you and I should have never been together. How we got this far, I'll never know. Cause the things that make me happy drive you crazy. And the love down in your heart died long ago. So you take your things, I'll take mine, if that's how it's gotta be. Well, that's what I need. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. I'll take the good times, you take the pain. There's nothing left between us, and there's no one left to blame. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. So divide up all the things we own, we'll go our separate ways. What else can I say? Are you guys ready to sing along with me? I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. I'll take the good times, you take the pain. I can't hear you. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. I'll take the good times, you take the pain. I'll take the sunshine. I'll take the good times, you take the pain. There's nothing left between us, and there's no one left to blame. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. There's nothing left between us, and there's no one left to blame. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. I'll take the sunshine, you take the rain. Thank you, Beth, for the request on that and for all you do to help to make this show happen. All right. Well, things don't always go as planned, as we're about to find out in this next video. Well, as you might suspect, things here in Mexico don't always go as planned, as evidenced by that 730-meter-long pile of rubble behind me that extends into the Sea of Cortez. That was originally supposed to be a jetty completed in 2015 to service the first cruise ship that was going to originate out of Rocky Point and head down to the Sea of Cortez. That obviously didn't happen. Ran into all kinds of issues that always seem to come up down here. Missing money, delayed permits, and all those fun things. Uh, so that's what Rocky Point's been left with after all this time. Uh, kind of a bummer for some people who wanted to hop on a cruise that would originate just an hour south of the U.S. border and take you to some beautiful spots along the Sea of Cortez. But I guess the plus side is some of those beautiful spots will remain beautiful spots uh, for a little bit longer. And maybe not everywhere will turn into Cabo San Lucas. Well, guys, like I said, that's kind of good news, bad news thing. Uh, you know, mixed emotions on that thing. Of course, you, you want people to be able to get on a cruise ship and see this beautiful Sea of Cortez because there's so much beautiful stuff to see. But then again, one of the things that makes the Sea of Cortez so beautiful is the fact that it's not just totally packed with people. And, uh, you know, like you find in some other tourist regions in Mexico. So anyway, we got to count our blessings when we can. And uh, hey, that's the way things go in Mexico which happens to be the name of this next song going off my friends up in the Northwest who hosted me this summer along with Rudy B. I want to say hi to Gordy and Karen watching us up there. They've been over to Baja. They get down there every year. And uh, hopefully this next song brings back some memories for them. Gordy and Karen, thanks for watching tonight. <laughs> I 
I can hear the sound of the music coming across that border line tonight. And I can feel the touch of a young girl gently take my hand underneath the moonlight. Soft refrains on a Spanish guitar carry me away. Our voices calling as I close my eyes. Think I hear her say, Mexico. You've been there on my mind for a long, long time, and I know that I just can't stay away, Mexico. Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand, gotta go, Mexico. Been a while, but does she remember? Is she still waiting there for me? And does she ever think about those hot summer nights down by the sea? Distant highways and dusty old roads, you got me crossing the line. Lead me down to where nobody knows, take me back in time. Mexico, you're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico, but you're another world away, Mexico, those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico, I can feel that wind begin to blow. Every time I hear that sound, I know. Sing along, guys. Mexico. You've been there on my mind for a long, long time. And I know that I just can't stay away. Mexico. Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand. Gotta go. And I'll be coming back to stay. You're the one that I love and I can't get enough Mexico But you're another world away Mexico Those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go Mexico place to hang out. Does my studio audience agree with me? Yeah. One thing I love about Mexico, don't know about you guys, but I love the fact that you can get really, really good seafood down here, really fresh seafood, big, big shrimp, and you can afford to do it. It doesn't run you broke like it does in a lot of other places. I'm going to take you right now to a spot that's not really known to a whole lot of Americans or Canadians in Rocky Point, but when you go there, your homework project is to stop by this place called El Buso. I don't know about you, but I am a seafood lover, and uh, I want to go beyond just fish tacos. Sometimes I want something really, really different. This is the spot. I am in Rocky Point today, sitting on the patio of one of my favorite seafood restaurants. This place is called El Buso. Now they always start your meal off here with chips and a green sauce that's made from serrano pepper, olive oil, and onion. It is really good. I just love the variety of options that they have here at El Buso, but I think my favorite thing are the tostadas. And like it says, they are fresh and they are big. Just one of these things is a meal. kitchen and this is Anena. Hi Anena. Hi. What are you guys making back here today? I prepared uh, a tostadas uh, called gemelas. 
Okay. Gemelas means twin, so this is two tostadas that you serve at a time. Yeah, a slice of tuna uh, with a salsa anguila. Eel sauce. Uh-huh. Okay. And a little bit of carrot. Right. Okay. And avocado. And avocado. Okay. Boy, this looks good. Looks fresh. You're working up my appetite. Great job, Anita. Thank you. Well, this is Camila. Hi, Camila. Hi. Camila's from Venezuela, and she is working here at El Buso. And Camila, what is this you're about to serve me? It looks so good. Oh, thank you. Look, what we have here is a shrimp tostada. It comes with slices of green apple, some mango, onions, and with a bed of aguacate. Boy, that looks good. It is good. And this is called the Vallarta. Yes. All right, I can't wait to dig into that. Thank you, Camila. You're welcome. Wow, that is delicious. So apart from offering some uh, really good beers here, some craft beers, El Buso also offers some really interesting drinks like this one that Camila has right here. Camila, what, what is this? Can you tell us about it? Okay, this, the name of this drink is Quetzal. It's part of our mixology drinks that we have here. It has a syrup of basil and cardamomo, has some cucumbers and lemon. Wow, that really looks good. It's really good. We have a lot of kind of different drinks anytime you want to. All right. I'm going to sample that. Here you go. It's a cake salt. I've never had one before. Wow. Really refreshing. Really different, too. Love it. Well, I'd like you to meet Priscilla Silva. She is the owner of El Buso. Hi, Priscilla. Hola, ¿cómo están todos? Buenas tardes. Um, what, what makes your restaurant different from other seafood restaurants here in Rocky Point? So they've got very fresh seafood. She says this is a, a, a style of fusion of Sonoran seafood and Nayarit seafood. That's a state further to the south, two states south of Sonora, just past Sinaloa, uh, and a little bit north of Puerto Vallarta. And you can really taste that in the food here. It's got a unique Nayarit uh, touch to it and it's awesome. You know, I never would have thought that slices of green apple and mango sauce would go good on a shrimp tostada with avocado, but I gotta tell you, this really works. It's unique, it's fresh, it tastes so good. My meal here at El Busa today was great. I only had one seafood tostada, but I'm stuffed. Um, I really recommend this place. If you're looking for something different, something fresh, something unique, El Buso. Okay, so when you're looking for El Buso, just take the main boulevard in the town, just past that main intersection at 13th Street, and you will see it on the right side of the road. Enjoy. Now only one problem. When my wife also finds out that I came here without her, I'm a dead man, because she loves this spot. all over again. I love the seafood at El Buso. I want to thank my friend Sherry, Sherry and Charlie and Claudia who uh, took me there the very first time I went. Wow, now I'm hooked on it. So I hope you will check that out next time you go there, guys. Good, good stuff. John and Carol Sherwin watching us in Minnesota tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in as you always do. Appreciate the request. This one goes out for you guys because it's true. Even our bad days are good. moment as a member of the human race they spanked my butt and told me welcome to this place i kicked and screamed but what could i do when the doc said we're gonna circumcise you hey looking back i could have had a better day i turned five and they sent me off to school where I memorized prayers and I thought I was pretty cool I was semi-cool 
the one day in the middle of the our father. I couldn't hold back a trickle of water. Uh oh, please God, get me out of here. Amen. Now you can say I've hit some bumps along the road. But why complain? Cause that's just the way it goes. Now even my bad days are good. I wouldn't change a thing even if I could. Sure, every now and then life drags me down. But here I am still a hanging round. Now there was this nun back in first grade who said, wipe that silly grin off your face. Hey, tell me why I should if even my bad days are good. You guys second the motion out there? Went off to college and I got that business degree Cause I heard that the corporate world was the place to be But I soon found out that I didn't fit in And I swore I'd never wear a tie again So much for my future as a CEO So I bought a guitar and I figured out how to play Walked into a bar and I wound up on a stage Singing James Taylor, Croce and Buffett And all the drunks threw dollars in the bucket And the boss said, we'll see you next Saturday night Thank God that tie fit a little too tight Or I might not be sitting here singing on Facebook Live now even my bad days are good I wouldn't change a thing even if I could Sure every now and then life drags me down But here I am still hanging round Now there was that nun back in first grade Who said wipe that silly grin off your face Hey tell me why I should If even my bad days are good I'll be that old guy on the stage who still got that silly grin on his face like everybody should Cause even our bad days are good Come on guys! Even our bad days are Let me hear you now! Even our bad days are good From your couches! Even our bad days are good Even our bad days My first moment as a member of the human race my button told me welcome to this place. John and Carol, thank you guys for tuning in, for hosting me this past summer. Appreciate you guys doing that. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, this next one, I'm going to introduce you to another friend of mine, Bill Young, who's going to be watching the show on YouTube uh, because we post the replays of every show uh, immediately after the live stream. So if you know somebody out there who doesn't do Facebook, you can let them know that, by the way. They can still enjoy this show. Bill Young's a great guy, a friend of mine from Tucson, Bill and Dina. Uh, good to see you guys. Thanks for always coming out every time I'm in Tucson. And thanks for all the good work you do in Rocky Point. I thought, you know, we'd show you a video maybe of some cool stuff going on because I'm showing you hotels and restaurants and bars and beaches, and there are people in this world who obviously are not lucky enough to be able to do all this stuff that we do. And I love it when a guy like Bill and a group of his friends get together and try to do something about that. Let's meet my friend Bill Young. I am sitting at Cullen's Cantina, one of my favorite little bars in Rocky Point, and I'm with one of my favorite people. This is my buddy Bill. He's down from Tucson, and Bill, I think you deserve a beer because you've been doing some cool stuff down here, and I'd love for you to tell my gang what you've been doing here in Rocky Point the last few days. So... We're here to, uh, number one, spread the love of Jesus to the Mexican people. We are from Tucson. We brought 160 people down here to build houses for the poor people in Puerto Penasco. We've been doing this with our church for 25 years, and this is about my 20th trip here. Awesome. So um, we go out into the barrios, 
to places that most Americans will never see. And we go and reach out to these people who live in um, things worse than Americans shed that, you know, they would build for themselves in the backyard to keep tools. Yeah. So we go and in, in three days, we build them a livable house. We support and we work with one mission, which is a local mission that comes and basically vets the people. They have to own their property. And number two, they have to have 400 hours of community service to get on a list to build a house for themselves. Oh, awesome. So they have to basically maybe put in time on someone else's house and share that experience with them. And we come alongside them and we work through One Mission as our church in Tucson and we build houses for these local people to show them the love of Jesus Christ. And you can't imagine that these people are so grateful. Why? Why? Por que? Por que? Because Jesus loves you and we want to help you. Bill, that is awesome, this project you're doing. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you guys have made a real difference in this community over many years. I'm always amazed by people like you. You raise the bar for all of us, you and your group. So if people want to get involved with something like this, either participating or maybe even just financially supporting it, what do they do? Um, in the Puerto Vinasco, it is one mission. If you happen to live in Tucson, our church is Antano Christian Church, and you can look that up or on the website and um, just get plugged in. We do this, we love these people, and we're here to help them. Bill, awesome, man. I'm so glad I ran into you, and you and me got a beer to drink, because you deserve it after all that work, bud. I love you, Mark Mulligan. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Got it. That is so cool what you guys do. Everybody give them a round of applause. I think that is so neat when they do a project like that. You know, a lot of times you can go on a vacation and, and just go to these all-inclusive resorts, and you never really see the parts of town where people are struggling. And, of course, we've got a great group of volunteers here in, in San Carlos that do things with Rotary Club, with Rescate, uh, Castaway Kids, so many organizations. The people I know who come down here really tend to use their time not only having fun, but, well, I guess having fun helping other people, too. It's not like it's not fun. Um, hey, next week, you're going to meet one of those people. Next week, my featured Mooligans hooligan is going to be someone we love dearly in this town. Her name is Terry Chalice, and she is the founder of Castaway Kids. You guys all know her story as she battled back literally from her deathbed. Literally, the, she was not supposed to make it through the day. And we prayed and prayed and prayed our butts off, and Terry's back. She's going to be back with us next week in our studio audience. We got some videos from her, Castaway Kids stuff. Um, it's really cool. Mark and Barb watching in Rocky Point, they do a whole bunch too. I'm going to feature them in a video coming up. So thank you. Um, it kind of reminds me, as I look at these wonderful people who raised the bar for all of us, uh, of this next song here. It's one of the only songs I've ever put on two albums. This one was... On the Rising Sun album, which is kind of my gospel album, but it was also on an album before that, Same Beer, Different Can. I hope you like this one. His feet are bare, his body, skin, and bones, his hungry eyes tell tales, better left untold. And as he disappears down a dusty village street, Turns and lifts a tiny hand and waves back at me. A mama prays, a baby cries, and it seems to me their only crime was being born into a world different than mine. There, but for the grace of God, go I. I'll never know the reasons why, but I still can't help but question why instead of me, it's him. Out there lost and all alone No place to call a home Like so many Out there struggling to get by There, but for the grace of God go I And I've often thought Man, it isn't fair Some folks are down to nothing 
me I got more than my share and I'm reminded of words from the past that he who much is given much is asked so I can't just be complacent sit back and count my blessings there's more I was put on earth to do there for the grace of God go I and I know but I still can't help but question why instead of me it's him out there lost and all alone no place to call a home struggling every day just to get by there but for the grace of God go I had I taken my first breath somewhere else instead? Or had a dad who disappeared, where would I be? It wasn't my choice, it wasn't my plan. I was just dealt a real good hand. I've been blessed with more than I could ever need. There, but for the grace of God go I. I might have been that other guy who didn't have life quite so easy or half as good as me I might be penniless and unemployed or hungry like that little boy all because of Lord knows why there but for the grace of God go I there but for the grace of God Thank you, guys. I don't get to play that one very often, but I appreciate it. All right. Hey, we're going to take you to another spot. This one's also on Sandy Beach, and my Rocky Point friends will recognize this one. I've gone to happy hour there many times with Charlie and Claudia. In fact, years ago, I used to actually sing at this place back when my hair was brown. Let's head on over to Puesta del Sol restaurant on Sandy Beach. Just a short walk down the beach from all the beautiful resorts on Rocky Point Sandy Beach is a great spot to grab breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's called Puesta del Sol, and it's located over at Playa Bonita Resort. Popular spot, they do a great breakfast buffet on the weekends. Wonderful spot for happy hour. Just to check out the views, watch the sun go down. Puesta del Sol. All right, guys, th that is a really good spot. I'll tell you what, these restaurant videos, uh, they are making me hungry. But you know what? We're going to actually take you, after this next song, to a place that was somewhat, I, I think of it when I, when I, when I sing this song. Um, now, I sing in some nice places now. But in the old days, it wasn't always that way. You guys know the story about how I, I was the house band back when my hair was brown, in Rocky Point at a place that was actually upgraded to becoming a brothel. I'm really not joking when I say that. It was originally Rocky Point's town jail, becoming a house of ill repute, then becoming a restaurant bar. They took the jail cells, made them into $20 a night hotel rooms. They put me in the main prison area. And uh, please do not share the story with my parents. It would just break their hearts. So why don't I just sing for you what I lived night after night. If you guys would like to sing along, I'd love it. Let's do a little drinking Mexico dry. Spring breakers with salt shakers Chasing every shot with a lime Old geezers and gold Diggers, it's amazing what money can buy. Oh, drinking Mexico dry, dancing on the tables and falling on the floors. Oh, drinking Mexico dry. 
try And I wish that they would just go He dumped his wife in Casa Grande Ain't seen his kids in a year He's 45, she's 19 Hey baby, can I buy you a beer? Now he's drinking Mexico dry Expatriated from the red, white, and blue Now he's drinking Mexico dry And I wish that they would just go home They'll always tell ya don't drink that water, but this ain't what they mean. They call the culture intoxicated. I look around and all that I see are underage, white trash, playing king for a day, screaming, hey, waiter, speak English. Can't you see I'm from the USA? Mexico dry. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. They're all drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that they would just go He wants to live la vida loca. He wants to really get wild. Another shot at vacation's over. Now he's here for a while. Cause he got hammered. He got nailed. They threw his butt in the can. And now it's please God, they get me out. And I'll never drink tequila again. He's finally learning how to say no more. No mas, drinking Mexico dry. And he wishes he could just go home. I wish that they would just go home. Skanky folks with rum and cokes. I wish that they would just go home. any skanky folks drinking rum and coke. Thank you very much. Speaking of which, salute everybody. Salute. All right. Well, I think that we ought to follow that last song up, that one, with a video of this next place. I've told you about it. We're going back to the old Margarita Villa, the legendary Margarita Villa. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Yep, you are looking at that place that was upgraded to becoming a brothel. Originally the town jail, then became a house of ill repute. Behind me is where I used to be the house band at Margarita Villa in Rocky Point, Sonora. If these walls could talk, a lot of us would be in big trouble. Back then, of course, Margarita Villa used to offer free shots of tequila from 11 to 12 a.m. and p.m. No purchase necessary, no limit. So how's that add to the ambiance of being in a form of prison slash brothel? My first show here was back in 1998 when Rick and Barbie, the owners at the time, brought me down for a Labor Day show. And I didn't know back then that I would eventually become the house band in this place. I just say, what a ride. These doors are locked now, but if I could take you inside, you'd find a stage over that way where I used to be the house band. Played here on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. How I ever survived this place, I'll never know. Uh, survived getting a billiard ball thrown at my head. Hundreds of drunks. And... Uh, 
iron these gray hairs. Yes, it's true. A drunken spring breaker really did throw a billiard ball at my head. It happened here. Uh, one night, this dude crawled up on stage just trashed, and he grabbed my microphone and started letting the F-bombs fly for all of his buddies. And uh, when I kicked him off, he did not like that. So he went back out in the crowd, headed for the pool table, grabbed one of the balls, and rocketed that baby at my head. It actually lightly grazed my ear. Uh, but I think had he just been inch closer on his aim, I might not be here today. I would have actually died in that building. And I think that would have just broken my mom's heart. You really don't want to die in a place like this. So out back in this place were jail cells. And those rented out for 20 bucks a night as hotel rooms. Um, you really probably wouldn't want a honeymoon here, but hey, for 20 bucks? One thing that got me in a lot of trouble in this place was becoming friends with the uh, boys from the state liquor department. They would come in here and, man, they knew how to party. In fact, they would uh, sometimes send me a shot of booze, and uh, if I didn't drink it when I was on stage, they'd send up a warning and say, we will bust this place for a liquor violation if you don't drink that shot now. Hey, I just didn't want this place to get busted. Took one for the team. Now, you've never really sung in a bar until you've sung in a joint like this. It was definitely, for me, a crash course and dealing with hecklers and drunks and just trying to stay alive. But, uh certainly has made every gig I've ever done since then a lot easier. Okay guys, who wants to buy a bar down in Mexico? Oh, wow. I cannot believe you guys who went there and me. I can't believe we're all still alive. If those walls could talk, we'd all be in serious trouble. Well, I got to follow that video up with a song off the upcoming album. This one was written by our buddy who now lives in that zip code, Jim Morris. And uh, I'm happy to record this one. And we're giving it a full-on Mexican version in the, uh, on the upcoming CD with accordions and horns and sombreros and the whole bit. Through the bars on the window. I saw the light of the moon I heard Mexican singers Singing Mexican tunes Dogs barked in Spanish A strange seventy I don't know the language Or the sounds that they made South of the border They say look but don't touch But they served me tequila And they served me too much I thought she was pretty And her love was for sale I spent my vacation in a Mexican jail Her padre was the sheriff Her uncle the judge Her brother the lawyer Who carried a grudge They chattered in Spanish A deal was soon made a first-class excursion to the local stockade. South of the border, they say, look, but don't touch. But they serve me tequila, 
and they served me too much. I thought she was pretty, and her love was for sale. Uh -oh. I spent my vacation in a Mexican jail. South of the border, they say, look, but don't touch. But they serve me Captain Morgan and Diet Coke, and they serve me too much. I tried to persuade them, but my arguments failed. Now I'm bunking with Carlos. In a Mexican jail Why, 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 why I ask myself why Sing a Mexican song With no ay, ay, ay Come on, guys Ay, 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 ay Ay, 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 Come on, everybody now That's off the upcoming album, and so is this next song, which is going out for our buddy up in Coburg, Ontario, watching Tom and Eleanor and Ali. Welcome. Always good to have you guys on Mulligan's Island with us. Here we go. Let's make you hungry. Everyone says, I'm so lucky. I got the best wife in the world. But I can't lie. There's been this girl Every time we get together I lose all self-control She satisfies my needs Like no one else I know We meet down on the south side In the drugstore parking lot She always keeps it spicy Cause she knows I like it hot She enables my addiction it's sinful, I confess How I give in to temptation But I can't resist Lupita, Lupita's taco stand Best food this side of the Rio Grande When she asks you, quieres otro? Just smile and say see the best six bucks a guy could ever spend Is at Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand Now if you're into real fine dining Or hanging out with snobs Or waiters in tuxedos Now nah, this ain't your kind of spot It's just plastic chairs and tables Bone cups and paper plates But the food Lupita serves ya Will leave a big smile on your face There's no list of healthy options No low fat or gluten free Good luck keeping count If you're counting calories It's a flavorful fiesta Of chicken, pork, or beef with a heap inside of Spanish rice and a smack of refried beans. And Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand. It's heaven in a fresh tortilla made by hand. The salsa's hot and spicy. Your taste buds say ole. Guaranteed your waistline will expand. Out at Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand. All right, studio audience, this is the sad part. Now my wife's home making meatloaf. I ought to be ashamed as I'm slapping on the salsa and the guacamole. Now 
most folks would set foot here Forever hit this side of town Buildings they've seen better days And neighborhoods run down But if you feel up and adventurous You'll be glad you took the chance Believe me, I guarantee You'll come back again To Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand just one bite, you're bound to comprehend. You'll be shouting hallelujah at Viva Mexico. You're going to stuff your face there every chance you can. Down at Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand. Down at Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand. Where are we going after the show? Down to Lupita's, Lupita's taco stand. All right. Man, I, there's so many songs that are making me hungry tonight. All right. I'm going to do this next song for a couple of people who are watching the show. Uh, Janice, you requested this one, and, and you and I have been emailing back and forth. And uh, I know you're missing Don a lot. Don was a part of the show with you and your whole family, actually. And uh, But I know you're doing well. This whole crowd, man, they prayed for you, and they prayed for Don and your family. And uh, we're just glad that you're doing okay. You're going to pull through this. So this next song goes for you. I also want to send this one out, Janice, to somebody else who I can't see the comments as they come in, but Luis has let me know that, Heidi, I know you out there have suffered a loss today. Some of you guys have been talking back and forth about that. And this is a song I kind of like to dedicate to you, Heidi, and to Janice. Um, and I don't know, I hope it makes you feel a little bit better. Sitting on my front porch swing Watching the sun go down Thinking that there's still some things Left to do while it was still around Then the colors took me by surprise I was suddenly so hypnotized I let the worries of life pass me by It was then and there that I realized that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go I was watching mama getting gray. My daddy's strength began to fade. That's when I began to pray. Lord, please don't take them away. Cause I still got so much left to learn. And I love my mom and daddy so. But this whole world continues to turn. Mama said, son, I thought by now you know. That a sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That a sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go swing and I'm watching the sun go down I'm thinking that there's still some things left to do while I'm still around then my life passes before my eyes and I'm suddenly so hypnotized 
Is it the colors of the painted sky? Cause I hear a voice from the other side Singing sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to think of you the things are done And truly take the time to see that sunset going out for Janice and for Heidi. Hope you are both hanging in there. All right, well, as you guys know, Luis has been handling your comments tonight. Luis, I think we still have a couple of requests here that I want to sneak in. Um, well, I want to do one for Marcy, and then, I, and then Caroline, I got one coming up for you watching us in New Mexico, too. Marcy, I hope you're feeling good today. Um, and Jody, if you're out there watching, I know you like this song a lot, too. Wow, Anais, you impressed me. She's, she's going to pull up some pictures here that I think are going to go with this request. She's just doing this on the fly. Well done. By the way, how about a round of applause, everyone, for Pablo and Anais running the audio and the visual tonight? Yay! Their job is to make me look good. That's a very, very difficult job. Uh, and then how about Luis handling the comments tonight? Is he doing a good job with you guys? Yeah? I heard you were talking about the weather before. Am I just like the sideshow here? What's going on? I'm kidding you. Uh, Marcy, this one goes out for you and Paul. Thanks for the request. Little boat in the water. Big boat in the yard. Sitting up on a trailer. Bound with tie downs and a tarp. Always one thing or another. Keeps that hole from getting wet. Now summer's halfway over. She still ain't been out there yet. Little boats in the water. Big boats in the yard. Flashy and extravagant. From bow to stern. With a cocky grin, he christened her. Money to burn. But problem after problem makes a boat mechanic rich. Didn't take very long to Man, I wish I had a little boat in the water Not this big boat in the yard He hears a single outboard chugging While his twins won't even start Never could break that addiction Always had to have more So much for all that bragging Saying, what's money for? Little boats in the water in the yard She said I met my man when she laid eyes on that craft. The house, the cars the money. She said I can do that. Till reality caught up with them and everything went south. With a wake up debt behind them she said you work it out. Little boats in the water, bouncing across the bay. But I see a bill he's drowning in gets deeper every day. This lawyer's talking options and it's looking pretty grim. Stares out his office window and remembers when he had a little boat in the water. Not this big boat in the yard. Somewhere he got sucked in. Now he just wants out. 
Cause bigger don't mean better Sometimes enough's enough Forget that stupid joke About he who dies with the most stuff Just keep a little boat in the water Some fancy yacht No need to bother Just keep a little boat in the water Thank you, Marcy, for the request. Coming all the way from San Carlos on that request. So, Luis, I think we have one more request we're going to get to here, right? Oh, Jason Cunningham snuck in with one. He slid in safe. What's he got? Oh, wow. All right, Jason, you're going to work me on this one. You're going to do what my friends in Idaho did to me last week. Request a, a one that I should have practiced. <laughs> but I'm going to do it for you, Jason. And I'm hoping to see you up in Colorado. Again, I'm going to get back up there this summer. Uh, Sean and Shara, I can't wait to see you guys in Highlands Ranch again. That's where Jason came to a show last time. Uh, already planning the summer dates, and it's going to be a fun one. But just so you know, my next date in the United States is actually going to be this coming Saturday. Rudy B's coming south. I'm going north, and we're meeting in Tubac, Arizona at the Center for the Arts, Saturday, March the 5th. If you've never been to Tubac, Arizona, and like just blown by it on the, on the interstate, you've got to take the off-ramp. Go check out that town. There's great food, great little shops. It's just a neat, neat, fun little town to hang out in. And the Tubac Center for the Arts is a great place to catch a show. If you've never seen Rudy B singing with me, you are in for a treat. He's an amazing guitarist. I can't wait to play with him again. And I hope to see you, my Southern Arizona friends there. Now, of course, my San Carlos friends, I'm here tomorrow night at La Palapa Griega, just around the bend from here. Uh, I'll be there Tuesdays through March. And... Um, starting at 5 o'clock. i got a show coming up in Keno Bay, too. If there's anyone from Keno Bay watching tonight's show, I'll be up there on March the 10th. Working on some other dates, too. We will keep you filled in. So, Caroline, don't give up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out with your song, but I want to do this one for Jason. Um, Jason, I should have practiced this, like I said, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, just real quick backstory on this one. It's a song that my producer in Phoenix at the time, he was, he was kind of wondering, like, why do you want to record this song? Because it's not like the kind of thing commercial songs are made out of. Uh, but I really wanted this one on there for me. In fact, it took me forever to write this song because every single word in the song mattered to me. I think it took me like three years to write this song. Um, but I just wanted it on there, and I... And I'm always happy when I get a request for it. Thanks, Jason. The sun's coming up. The dogs are barking outside. She says this once for luck. She kisses him goodbye. Looks about 50, but he's only 35. Fishing ain't easy, but it's all that keeps him alive. But he can't quit now, he's got mouths to feed. So he aims that ponga out to sea and heads out on one more run off the coast of nowhere. Spanish explorers and ghosts from long ago Still haunt these tranquil waters Still roam these Cortez shores And the voice of the Seri whispers on the wind Telling tales in a language nobody understands How before the days of you and me Magnificent creatures ruled these seas All through the centuries Off the coast of nowhere
Marlins and mantas, dolphins and whales would put on a show for the men that set sail. Conquistadors of a world untouched by time. Mysterious secrets were better left untold by dreamers and vagabond drifters and castaway souls. Pirates and thieves in search of pink gold Our Mexican shrimpers all rusty and old Are leaving one big empty wake behind From Cabo to Kino, Penasco to Mulahe Seems all that they left us are memories of yesterday The sun's going down and the day is almost done. He takes one last look behind him, sees a silhouette of Tipperon. Just like his father a generation before. Looks out on the water and he wonders how many decades more. Till that last Paquita disappears. There's not much left of the sea turtle here. That day is getting near off the coast of nowhere. What's he gonna tell his son when the nets are empty and the fish are all gone? They say it won't be long. Jason, that one goes out for you, and I appreciate the request on that. I don't get many requests for that one, but it's always fun doing that one. Uh, all right, Luis, I think we're down to one request left. I want to remind you guys that next week we're going to be featuring Terry Chalice, and not only will we hear about her story, but uh, you know her involvement with Castaway Kids is something I think you guys will be really interested in too. So uh, tune in and check that out. By the way, Terry, next week, is going to surprise us and sing the theme song from Mulligan's Island, the entire thing. And I'm going to get her up here to join me for a song that we'll sing together too. So I can't wait to have Terry Chalice of San Carlos join us uh, on next week's show. Same time, same channel. I uh, want to thank all you guys for tuning in. So, Luis, we got one last request here, right? Oh, might be two. Caroline Bell, right? Caroline, I think this is going to be yours. What's that? All right, Caroline and Chris, I saw you guys up in Colorado, too, even though you live in New Mexico, and I know that you guys are really, really looking forward to spending more time here in San Carlos. I want to thank my Rocky Point friends who have tuned in tonight, by the way. Uh, you guys sitting there at Margarita Mermaids, thanks for going there. Chris, thank you for treating them right with the happy hour, the Mulligan's happy hour you're doing on Monday nights at 5 o'clock when, when I do my show. Um, I really appreciate it. Pablo Nanais, Luis, great job by all you guys. Thanks for the pictures you guys have sent in, too. And uh, we keep it different every week, guys. We take you different places. We've done two weeks in a row we've done Rocky Point. But uh, next week, we're actually going to go around the bend from Rocky Point, show you a couple of videos from Choya Bay, and we're going to bring you back to San Carlos and show you some cool stuff around here, including a little bar just around the corner from my house that's really not even a bar. It's just a guy's garage. But well, you'll see it next week. It's really, really, it's really, yeah, it's really amazing. We'll save that for next week. That's the tease. <laughs> All right, we'll close out with this one. And Tom Copeland, I know you like this one too. Thank you, everybody. What a fun night on Mulligan's Island. Thanks for your tips too, because that's what keeps the show going. I think we're coming up on 100 episodes. Thanks to you guys. I'll show you some pics of Rocky Point and even some of you guys. Hey, old friend.
sure good to hear your voice again. Maybe I've been looking back on those crazy days of way back when. It's been a while, too many years, too many miles. Those distant yesterdays, just thinking about it makes me smile. Cause you know we've had some good times and you know we've had some fun. But something tells me the best is just begun. So I'm looking ahead to the good old days to come. Never found a fortune, hardly have a nickel to my name. And for all the times I've lost in love, I guess I've only got myself to blame. And as for you, looks like you've been down that same road too. So tell me when you're hitting town, cause we got some catching up to do. We've been up and down the border. We've been out there in the sun, but something tells me the best has just begun. So I'm looking ahead to the good old days to come. Now dreams can disappear and friends can fade away. Memories turn to black and white as we turn another page. So tomorrow turns to yesterday and we watch the days go by. Sitting around thinking about the good old days we left so far behind. Now times are changing. Here in the age of MTV. That tells you how old the song is right there. Take a look at the headlines. Things ain't the way they used to be. all right why worry about things you can't control just do the best you can and take the lessons that you learn on down the road and if ever you get to wondering where those good old days are gone just remember that the best has just begun Looking ahead to the good old days to come. Yeah, if ever you get to wondering where those good old days have gone, just remember that the best has just begun. I keep looking ahead to the good old days to come. The good old days to come. I keep looking ahead to the good old days to come. Okay, I want you guys to pretend, pretend you're holding up your lighters and saying one more song because this isn't Luis's fault, this is mine. Uh, he'd let me know a long time back that Mike and Jamie Miller requested a song. Luis, your homework, he's over there doing push-ups. Wow, he's supposed to be handling your comments, he's doing an exercise class over there with Jose. Uh, this is why the show is falling apart, folks. Uh, he let me know that Mike and Jamie Miller would like to hear this next song. Can you let Mike and Jamie know, answer their comment in case they've logged off, let them know I'm going to do this next song for them. And you guys out there, if you happen to be sitting next to somebody you love, feel free to get up off your couch, ask that person to dance, because this next song's kind of a little butt squeezer. And I know that Mike and Jamie, every single time I play this one, they request it, they always get up and dance. It's one of their favorites. And I'll close out with this one right here. And you just might see yourself in a very special day in your life with this next song. Going out for Mike and Jamie Miller. Granddad fell in love with my grandma. Back in 25, he knew right then she was the one. Now there they are in black and white. As I wipe the dust off of that frame, I 
know that they're together once again. I would have loved to live back when the world didn't spin so fast. Things were different way back then, yet love was made to last. It was more than just some store-bought ring. Those vows they made meant everything. I want to love you like that, or I don't want to love you at all. Someday I want to look back at a picture hanging up on a wall and remember how it all began when I took your hand and said, I want to love you, I want to love you like that. One day we stood up before God and everyone we knew. I gave my word, you gave your heart. We softly said, I do, with a promise to live faithfully. For not a day less than eternity. So here we are now, me and you, raising four kids of our own. We've done the best that we can do to make this house into a home. And our kids will meet someone someday. And when they think of us, I hope that they will say, I want to love you like that. Or I don't want to love you at all. Someday I want to look back at a picture hanging up on a wall and remember how it all began when I took your hand and said I want to love you I want to love you like that or I don't want to love you at all someday I want to look back at a picture hanging up on a wall and remember how it all began when I took your hand and said I want to love you I want to love you like that I want to love you like that. I want to love you like that. Thank you, Mike and Jamie, and thank all of you guys for tuning in tonight. I look forward to seeing you back here again next Monday night, same time, same channel. Our featured Mooligans hooligan is going to be Terry Chalice. It's going to be a great time. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless you. Let's make our way down to Mexico Where we can meet the friends we know White sand, warm sun, and H2O It's time for us to get back to laid back Try a different beer from our favorite six pack This crazy world says, come on, let's go It's time for the music man, a coastal kid with guitar in hand. Even bad days are good here on the island. Giving us a place where we can talk to each other fan to fan. Uncharted courses crossing our paths. It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics It's a Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island It's the right place and the right time To be south of the border again This is the day we get to listen in We don't sing no blues anymore We kick
Kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand Even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics A Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island 